view just passed over a waste area from copper smelting called tailings. How's your cookies and cream? Well, they're all. I got two bobcats. Well, so the only thing you can really see. It used to be under the barn. That's why. That's why. We're going to be nine uh, this Sunday. I'm six. Oh, well. I'm Happy six. early birthday. Thanks. Okay. Okay. They want to go camping. The only that. place you can get the answer Good to this. Good place to go is. Be it's on the That's hilltop living poster right nice. back on the yeah, wall. Yeah, I, I cut the cattails. Cattails? You know, we, there's See, a lot of cattails there, and I, I want to know where all the cats went who lost their tails. I know. Hilltop living. Tuzi Woot. Yeah, I mean, because you got Pronounce the D. Woot. Tuzi Woot. Corn? Not that I've heard of. This is all the types of corn. There's black corn. Yep. What you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see drum? Drum is over there. This is the tailings from the copper mine. Drum. There's a cement plant over there. Pueblo's Plaza. Pueblo. But they had a special name. I don't know. You don't know. Can you say Sanawa? Sanawa? No, the Hohokam are down by Tucson. That's Tavasi Marsh over here. You see that greenish area out there? Yeah. And that provided the water so they could grow crops all around the all around their houses here. See there's roofs over there. And there, there's quite a few of them all around here. You go down the hill in the corner, turn around at their, their, their little gas station stuff down there and come back up. And just before you crest out at Cornville, up to the top, uh -huh. there's a little pullout on the right-hand side of the road and a, and a fence. Okay. There's just enough room on that pullout for two or three cars. And it's about a, maybe a half, half mile walk, if that, back to, to some ruins. Oh. That's, that's, that's an easy hike. I that's something you can do with these guys. Mm. Do you mm. see the Birdie mm. River anywhere? No. Look around. Can you see, it? see the green trees? Yeah. It's running right in between them. See the brown water right there? Yeah. <laughs> no. That's the river. Yeah, he's trying to, they're, they're, probably, they're probably looking for some they're visualizing clear blue, blue thing or something. <laughs> it's a swamp. It's a <laughs> no, it's not a swamp. <laughs> and the sediment ends up in the river and makes it that color. I kayak and I swim in that river a lot. Ew! <laughs> that goes all the way down to Fort McDowell where it yeah. in the Salt River. Exactly. And Fort starts, McDowell, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it starts, you, you know where, where Prescott is? Huh? You know where Paulden is? Paulden? Paulden's north of You're side. just making up names of cities now, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Cornville and Paulden. Paulden <laughs> is a city that's, oh, I'd say 25, 30 miles north of Prescott. Okay. And that's where the headwaters of the Verde are. Oh, Wait. okay. It's really, it's a very special place if you have a chance. It's good to I go want to go down there. to those ruins right there. What do you think you're going to find down there? Rooms. I Rooms? think we're going to find rocks. This protective seal subjecting floors and walls to erosion and deterioration. Note also the use of large boulders from the foundation of walls and the larger load-bearing wall at the back, which likely supported another story. Get your junior ranger book all done? Yeah! When this is all done, Sammy has a lot to do. You need to sit down and help Sammy. You need help, Sammy? She needs a lot of help. You'd put milk in your pot. <laughs> Better put an ice cube or two. You'd put your Kindle in there. 
Okay, I've never had that. Never had that come back before. What else could you put in there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to take. Well, you can put anything you want in a pot. Actually, you would fit in one of those pots. What? I could stuffed animals in there. All right, why were you surprised there were stairs? Well, you know, at one time, there used to be stairs out here when you first went up. There were two steps up on top. They got rid of those. Okay, so you like to read and you like to play baseball. Don't read while you're playing baseball. <laughs> there was a way they could communicate that you kids have used today, but you didn't use to communicate. I'm going to give you three clues is mounted vertically on a wall. The wall is in the bathroom, is above the sink in the bathroom. So what in your house is above the sink? Mirror. A mirror. Exactly. <laughs> now, you can take the mirror that they have over there by the hats that people use to see how they look in the hats up to the top of the tower. And I had this done one day that I had off. I went to the next site down the river, Stonehouse Glen. Called on my cell phone. Told them I was there. They could flash me with that mirror. Cool. And you know how quickly, you know how quickly a mirror flash will travel? 186,000 miles a second. Speed of light. So if you're living on a high spot like this, you can communicate from one side to the next on a sunny day by using mirrors. Cool. And they had access to two types of minerals, mica and schist that when you crack them, they form very thin reflective plates. So you take those and you glue them to a flat rock. And what would you use for a glue? Uh, mortar. Where are you guys going to camp tonight? Uh, we're at Fire? Dead horse? You won't? Yeah, you will. When you go into Dead Horse on the left side, there's a big area of pine trees. Yeah. What do pine trees exude from the bark when it's hot. Yeah. Did you ever get pine sap on you? I like that. Yes. It's sticky. What's pine? It's sticky, right? So that would make a good glue. Okay. So there's yeah. your reflective plate um, and, and your glue. Awesome. Because you can use fire, but who's going to go out and get the firewood? Uh, you. No. Kids would be out getting firewood. Our dad already bought it. <laughs> no, I think your dad's going to do what the Sanawa did. When you get the tent set up, he's going to say, Oh, go get some firewood. <laughs> we already have it. And then go chase the rabbits out of the field. I saw a rabbit here. You know why they have a J on the hill? For drones. Yeah, but you know why they have that up there? Because before they had navigation equipment on aircraft, they had landmarks. That's what they used. Landmarks. They would they would use something that indicated what town it was. Yeah. Over on that table, there's the circular date stamp. Oh, Ink yeah. it and put it right there and bring those back. And we appreciate that. Sure, you can use any of them you want. Okay. We need to do one. So the original damming of the river is not to enhance just kind of worked out there. We have to put the but day it's not on. Out that way. It's just and we get long. another one. Well, it's, there shouldn't be any. Can, can you know, get this one? Uh, yeah. Is the river low enough that it's not? Put it right there. Well, that, that would be the only reason it wouldn't go through that. Well, we need to get it in there. Oh, I love um, it. Thank um, you. But originally Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. you got to raise your right hand. Okay, you got to repeat right. after me. Repeat after me. Okay, yeah, well, that's what I wanted. <laughs> As a junior ranger, I will. As a junior ranger, I will. Leave all plants, animals, and other objects as I find them for others to enjoy. <laughs> that was a test. Okay, we're going to break that up into two. Leave all plants, animals, and other objects. Leave all plants, animals, and other objects. As I found them. As I found them. For others to enjoy. For others to enjoy. So if you find a turtle that's on his back, what are you going to do? Leave him. 
<laughs> no, put him back on his feet. He, <laughs> he, he would much prefer being on his feet. Okay. Don't put, take him home with you. Put litter in a trash can or recycle bin. Put litter in a trash can or recycle bin. Learn more about national parks over the United States and... Learn more about national parks all over the United States and... Okay, I wanted to make sure you got that last one. Share what I have learned with my family and friends. Share what I have learned with my family and friends. Okay, there's yours. There's yours. And there's they're, yours. They're plastic. So the question now is how many of those do you guys have? Uh, five now. We, it, we from have, where? Uh, we one, from, one from Jerome. One. Jerome State Park? Yeah. Did you get a crushed penny? Yeah. Yep. Tonto. Tonto, okay. Tonto, great. Oh, very good. What's the last one? Uh, Casa Grande. Casa Grande. Okay. So, did they give you one made out of mud at Casa Grande? No. No. It'd be more fitting. Because if you go to Yosemite, they're made out of wood. Yeah, all of them are made out of wood. So this is the only. This is the only one with plastic. We well, have. we can't make them out of rock. <laughs> <laughs> or what? It'd be awfully heavy. When you went to Jerome State Park, you went by a hole in the ground that's 1,800 feet deep. No, we didn't. <laughs> a little bit of a worry sound. Uh, nobody told us about that. <laughs> right when you book, before you get to the parking lot on the right, it's called the Aubrey Head Frame. And it's a big thing that comes up, and that's where they used to lower the miners down. Elevator. And before elevators. Yeah. And you can go stand on the plexiglass, and if you have a very bright flashlight, you still won't hit the bottom. Wow. It's over a third of a mile down. So a lot of people won't go out on the plexiglass. It's strong enough to hold you up? So far. <laughs> and tell we'll us see. Not. You get to go around the, all the different parks? If you they, want. They rotate you around? If you want, yeah. How do they rotate you? Well, when somebody gets done, then you go take their place. Because you figure you've had enough, then you go somewhere else. Cool. What is that? It's a walking stick.